Hello everybody, uh, I'm Simons again. Uh, this is episode 2 of Stone Mirrors, our sort of chat and play of a Dwarf Fortress. I'm here once again with Robin. Hello, once again, I'm Robin. Hurrah! He's Robin. And uh, yep. let's get on with uh, sorting out the crafting underground. Yep, crafting. So, so I've designated an area to be dug out and we can see our So this miners. is the level below. We're yes. basically expanding... It's, deeper into our Dwarven Kingdom. Yes, well, it's, it's going to be sort of a largely vertical fortress. Um, yep, yep. Mainly because the deeper you get, the closer you get to where the magma is, which we will need later for magma forging. Oh, so that magma is a useful heat source, I guess. Yes, uh, magma forging is uh, requires no fuel, which is ah, very handy. That sounds like a useful thing. Handy. It kind of reminds me of like Minecraft. But... If you don't have any coal. Anyway, I will resume yep. the game. The dwarves will get on with digging out this little crafting level we've got set up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've told them to dig out this huge area. Is this... Yes. Oh, yeah. We've struck ore pement, uh, which what's is... That, um, what's those little coal-like white blobs? Uh, those are chunks of stone. Oh, right. So, okay. Um, you well, don't... they haven't cleared away sort of thing. Yeah, they just leave them where they dig them out of the wall. Um, oh, it's got white and yellow ones? Yeah, there's different types. So we can okay, sl cool. slap on yeah. K here and go and see what they are. That's dacite and that's uh, ore pement. Um, which is well, that's me enlightened. something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that does. <laughs> anyway, um, whatever it is, it's it's yeah. It's... So another thing that we're busy doing is sorting out our nest boxes, which we have a couple of now. So I'll put one ah, there. Chickens. We've got yeah. four nest boxes, so I'll put two. Is that the uh, in... brown things in the top right area near the? Uh, I assume it's water. The uh, seven-like water. Uh no. Oh yeah, yeah, just below it. No, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cover that in a sec. Um, the nest boxes are actually in the stockpile because we set to stockpile everything, so they're in they're in this stockpile. That this is this is a nest box that the cursor is dancing on and off of. Okay, cool. So if you don't stockpile stuff, it you're probably going to lose it. Um, it's fine as long as there's nothing that's likely to steal it, which is fine mostly when you're underground. So you don't have to worry too much about degeneration. Uh, no, not generally. Okay. Food will rot if it's not in the stockpile. Yeah, that's sort of what I meant. Yeah, um, okay. But otherwise, no. Um, so anyway, it's uh, from the build menu. It's capital N to build a nest box. Yeah. And you move it to where you want it, and you place it, and you choose from the list of nest boxes that you have. And we only have one free one now, because we've already allocated to three. So chickens are on the job. So they'll get placed in there. Yeah. And what we'll oh, also yeah, do... I can see the dwarf doing his business. Um, yeah, he's going to grab one from the... Some of the dogs. Oh, is that? No, that's cats running around. Cats like running around. Things. Yeah, they, they they kill pests in the fortress. Yep. So if there's like rats or anything, the cats will kill them. Cool. Oh yeah, I can see one of these stockpiles just to left the next nest box. He's filling up with stuff. Yes, and the, the we, you can see that actually birds have gone straight to the nest boxes once we once we built them. We've got the two hens already on them. Went straight there to lay some eggs. Oh yeah, good good. So they, they kind of claim them. Um, so what we'll do now is... It's like, this is my pad. Is we'll set some zones. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's the dog zone. Yep, so we're going to set this uh, as a pen for the chickens to go in. And this one here, because the chickens have gone into it already, so we may as well just carry on. So it's the chicken zone. Yes. So that's a pen. And to, and to turn it on as a pen, capital N to set the information. And we'll. There's all a list of creatures. List of creatures. So we put all the hens in there. Oh, and one of them's been named as a hunting dog. Yes, that's our, that's our hunting oh, dog. Oh, so we got. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we've got so four, you've got four the hens and one roosters roosters. and hens. Yeah, yeah. So we put all the hens in this one, and then uh, we'll move over to this one here. Once again, lowercase n to make it a pen, capital N to set it up, and this one we will put the turkeys. We have yaks. We do have yaks and the ducks. Yep. Like <clears throat> ducks, tasty. Ducks and turkeys are in. Going to go. All right, the, so it's a, pen. yeah. You have hens and gobblers for turkeys. <laughs> yes. Um, so what we'll do now is uh, change the settings on our food stockpile so that instead of uh, eating the hen eggs, we'll allow them to hatch. All oh, right. Yeah. So we're going to basically so, get so lots of a load of chickens. So, uh, so we got so plenty of food, so we want to make sure we get lots more chickens. Yep, so we go Q yep. over to this stockpile, which is the one that's getting all the ingredients in. 
and go all over right, the so eggs. All right, so you basically do it through the ingredients, uh, yeah, yeah, through, you, through the stockpile. You just tell them yeah. not to collect, or not just put in a stockpile the type of egg that you want to leave in the nest box, and then it okay. can be fertilised. So who have got a big, eggs. massive list My of word. eggs here. <laughs> so we'll just Monitor liz lizard woman. Uh, yeah, because... Um, Lizards, if you're in a particularly sort of savage area, you can get lizard men. All right, I get you. Yeah, yeah. Um, My word. This is, this is every creature ever. <laughs> any, every egg laying creature ever, pretty much. And I yeah, yeah. keep forgetting where the hens are. There's, there's things so, there that I haven't even I've heard gone, of. I've wrapped, <laughs> it's wrapped around. Page up and down with nine and three on the Oh on, yeah. On the keypad. That's fairly easy on the keypad, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we are. Easy, probably keyboard. Hen egg. Press enter yep. to toggle that. And carry on, and now the dwarves are sort of putting putting the hens and the ducks and stuff in the appropriate um, in the appropriate pasture. I'm I can see the FPS on the top in the blue section. How many? Um, how long are we talking about before you know a month or so goes past in real time? Um, well, the the FPS thing it's not really frames; it's about ticks, and it's ah. Okay. Number of ticks per second, and an ordinary dwarf who's unencumbered will take uh, ten ticks between moving from one tile to the next. Okay, so that's, and the more so that's um, ten moves per second, almost. Yeah, and, the, the, and obviously the more creatures and the more dwarfs we have, the slower things will get. So, yeah, another thing to do uh, every so often is pull up the status with Z, so you can look oh, at wow. how much food you have and how much drink you have. Yeah, meat, fish, plant. Yep. Yep. It's, it's food stores, it was at 200, which is good, and drink is at 20, which is a bit less good. But... They need more booze, is that what we're saying? Um, generally, you need to keep an eye on your booze levels and keep it reasonable. 20 isn't too bad, because currently we only have seven dwarves. Okay, yeah. But, um, so, and then you head over to just make sure your uh, still is doing its job. So we go add... Yeah, because we built the still last time, didn't we? Yep. A, yep, B... Yep. Add yep, brew drink, add brew drink. so keep on doing that until the list is full, which is nine things, so it'll brew nine more drinks. Is there any way to, say, repeatedly do this, or do you have to keep filling up the queues? You can do it repeatedly, um, and eventually for some things I actually will set them on repeat. You can see there's, an, there's a, there's a repeat option to do there, so you press oh, yeah, R, yeah. and it'll, yeah, R, R appears repeat. next yeah, to it, yeah. and it'll do that one over and over again. And we'll do that um, probably when we're smelting stuff. Once things get a bit more stable. Uh, so anyway, we're on our crafting thing. They're digging this out. They're, they're about halfway so, uh, done. We, we changed few there. Oh, this is uh, down level. Went down it? level, yep. yes. So we go down yep, yep. to the level below. We've got some like some stars in the northeast there. Yeah, that's those are gems. Ooh, Again, we hit K shiny. and we scroll over them. Those are milk quartzes. Yep. And, and what's the white things? We've got some cinnabar on the floor. That's a oh, yeah. lump of dacite. Excellent and these stuff are, we can these sell. Are more milk quartzes and that's ore piment. Yep, yep. Groovy. So they're just busy digging that out. Um, I'll check on what's being done up here. You want to sort of keep these things active where possible. Just to. Because we need. Um, for they example, do well on wood stocks. Yes. Uh, for example, in the Craftsdorf workshop, I want to make another. Few nest boxes because we want some more of those, so we'll make some more nest chickens. boxes. Like that to make another six of those, and that just appears in our general inventory. We can stick them where we want. Yes, and this, specifically, they are actually unless they're moved in a stockpile, they're stored in the workshop where they get made. Oh, yeah. um, but we can still access them for the same. But way. as long as they're not being moved around, then yeah. you can just uh, wherever you want to build something, it will have access to all of the stuff that you have. Ah, yeah, you see, I have to go and find them. So, so, so I think. And I think we want another couple of beds, probably. Uh, a, B, and another couple of chairs. A, C, and another couple of tables. What weapons a, there? T. Training weapons. Training weapons, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not going to bother with that just yet. No. But what we will do as well is just have a look at, uh, or at least start to consider. Um, how we're going to defend the area before nasty things turn up because nasty things will eventually turn up so yeah. um does that mean we need to move our wood downstairs eventually or sort of thing um 
no, what we'll probably do, what we'll almost certainly do, is build a wall around this um, top level. All right, sort just, of castle. Just some, a couple of gaps in, and uh, we can't have a moat, really, because we've got this hill off to the side, but we can still dig yeah. trenches. And we've got a, um, bridge zero across. level, which I'll call it here, and you can build a wall here, and we can go up. Can we actually build, you know, like plus one level? Yes, and we will be doing that. What you do is, uh, what we're oh, going cool. to do is, we'll build a wall around the whole thing, and yeah. then we'll build a floor next to that top of that wall so that they can walk around, and then we'll build fortifications on top of oh, the wall, nice. um, which have arrow slits in, so that um, ah. when we have marks dwarves, which will come. We can yep. shoot through the fortifications, and they are less likely to get shot back. Yeah. Um, we will probably dig a trench around the whole thing, yep. and um, we'll also need to consider getting some water into the fortress somehow. Here's the brook, and we will um, need to fill a cistern under the fortress. It's not super urgent right now, but we want to do it fairly soon, because uh, when winter comes, all the surface water will freeze. Yeah, like. When we first arrived, it was all completely snow and stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to want to do that uh, soon-ish. Um, we'll not do it. I don't know. We'll start doing it right now. We'll, because we only have two miners and they're busy. Yep. Although, although they are about to finish. So. Do we have to basically wait for more, more people to turn up? Uh, migrants will eventually show, yes. Um, right Is it a seasonal thing? The, uh, yeah, I think they come in the autumn. I think that's correct, which is not too far away. Um, okay. I want to add another task to the Mason's Workshop, I think it is. Uh, no, that was wrong. We want ah. to go to the Crafts Dwarf Workshop and make use G to make rocks, and we'll make some rock pots, because we've got some rocks now. What are the pots for? And the pots are for storing foods and drinks and stuff in. So well, we've got lots of bags already, if I seem to remember, because we bought one of everything to get free bags. We have we have bags, um, but you can't store booze in a bag. Um, you can't put a booze in a bag. You can't put booze in a bag. <laughs> Wise words. Like, Wise words yep. there. Um, so we need pots to store food and drink in, and you can store more per tile. Of a stockpile, if you have stuff in pots or barrels or whatever, so we'll make some pots out of the rock that you've dug out. And down here, they've they've dug all this stuff out now. Ah, yeah, so that's great. good. So we've got blue stuff in the bo bottom right and red stuff in the top right. Yeah, we've got some dacite, we've got some cinnabar lying around. Cinnabar yeah, is stuff. just very heavy. It's just yeah. stupidly heavy rock. Heavy that's, stuff. <laughs> that's, that's all. It's useful. You can uh, drop it on people's heads. Yes, things. it's useful for stonefall traps. Exactly. Yeah. I, I see in the menu there we got movies. What on earth is that? It's just game movies. So you can like record uh, what you're doing. So, I think so. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Ah. Uh, but uh, yeah. You can record your fail. You can record how badly things go. We've got some <laughs> blue gems there. What's that? That's claro opals. That's nice. Right, so this level is ready to be set up uh, with our crafting buildings. Yep. So let's do that. So this is going to be our crafting room. Yep, and I have our yep. crafting workshops in here. So we will be and W for workshop, and we will want uh, crafts dwarfs workshops, which are on R. So we'll have two of these. We'll have one up there. Make it out of dacite because there's dacite nearby. We got lots of it. Uh, another one here. Make that out of dacite as well. Yeah. Want some jewelers workshops? Stuff we can sell. We can put jewelers workshop there. Uh, In wow. particular, reason you just sort of smacking them around. Um, I'm going to. I'm doing it in a specific way, which I also borrowed from somebody else's tutorial video, but I think it's, it's I find it useful as well. I'm doing it in a specific way because place these here like this, and then in this. Oh no. Let me just back this out so I can get a cursor. In this area here, yeah. this is where we put the stockpile for the crafts. Yeah. And so Northeast. the crafts get built in these workshops and yeah. put placed in the stockpile in this corner. And so when the yeah. jewelers want to encrust the crafts with gems, they just need to go up here to get the crafts to do the encrusting. Ah, right next to them. Switch so right next to them. So that's why that is. Cunning, cunning. So let's do those stockpiles now. Yep. And again, borrowed from... Um, I'm going to do three up here, 
and crafts come under finished goods. So I will do three, three tall stockpiles here, and I will explain why in a moment. Okay. See, we also have a corpses stockpile, which is kind of disconcerting. Well, otherwise they just lie where where they die and rot. <laughs> so you need to yeah. Need to look can after. you actually bury your dwarves? You know, we have corpses. Can we actually we, bury the dwarves? It's is there, yes. uh, a relig religion concept in this. Well, not religion as such, although there are gods. Um, ah, but cool. the main thing to be concerned about is that you want to give someone decent burial so they don't come back and haunt people. <laughs> so they can come back they from come, the dead. They come back as ghosts and haunt the fortress. Um, that is bad. <laughs> so we will begin to lay in a supply of coffins in due course. Bury, bury them in the stone. Right, and I'm also going to make two gem stockpiles here. Yep, shiny things. Just that big, and then another one there. And now try and explain why I've done it this way. So what, yep. what we'll do here is these stockpiles are for different um, quality goods. Right. So the highest quality goods we'll put here nearest the jewellers. So the jewellers will encrust the high quality goods with jewels first. So it's a short saunter for them. Yes, otherwise, because if you just have um, the whole thing as just a, a finished goods stockpile, yep. then they'll pick the nearest item to them. Because they're lazy sods. But if you put the higher, so if you put the highest quality goods down here, then they'll go for those in preference to the other ones. Ah, okay, yeah. Um, and so we'll get high quality goods encrusted with gems, which is good. Which we can flog. So let me just set the settings here for our finished goods. Um, we need to remove some of this stuff. Uh, we don't want. I don't, yes, we want stone ones. We don't want metal ones. So we will forbid metal. Um, we want to keep most of this link um, and we're going to change the quality this is the low quality stockpile so we will turn off all of the higher qualities in both core and total mm -hmm. what's the difference between core and total um, I think that's the basic quality of the material and that's um, quality after it's been crafted because better, oh, right. better yeah, craftsmen yeah. make better stuff yeah, so you can have a nice ruby, but once you actually put it in something fancy, yes, it's a really nice ruby. Take um, glass off here as well, because glass will happen somewhere else. Um, and uh, I think that's it. I think I can't help thinking there's something I've forgotten, but whatever. Right, um, so we'll do the same here. Yep. Finished goods. And we'll disable the metal ones, forbid that. We'll turn off the glass here. And is this, um, what's that helper utility you were talking about? Is this the sort of thing that I can help with? Um, is it more dwarf. Um, that's uh, entirely jobs? about managing uh, tasks and okay. things. The dwarf therapist, um, which yeah. once migrants arrive, we'll start using yeah. in, in earnest because um, when, when you've got 80 to 100 dwarfs in the fortress, you need something to help you with that stuff. Otherwise, you'll go mad. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Then we have this last stockpile, which is going to be where the high quality goods are. So we'll turn off the metal ones and the glass. Oh, I have just remembered something. I want to turn wood off in here as well. <clears throat> and the reason I want to turn wood off on these mm -hmm. is because um, splints and crutches are um, wooden finished goods. Medical stuff, <clears throat> and I don't want those to wind up in this stockpile because. Are we going to have a medic room then? There will be a hospital, uh, but the, ah. I just I just don't want them in this stockpile because they'll wind up in barrels with um with crafts, and then you have to sort and you have to be careful not to sell the entire barrel, otherwise you sold your splints. And dwarves will hop all around. So let me just quickly fix that as well. Right, down here we've got two stockpiles for gems, and the reason we have two stockpiles for gems is because this stockpile is for rough gems. Uh, so we'll forbid those. And the other stockpile is for cut gems. So we can work gems to actually improve their quality or cost? Well, you have a you dig them up out of the ground and they're rough, and so you have a jeweler cut them and then they become cut gems. Uh -huh. That's just, uh, one of the, um, what do we call it, um, professions, is it? Yes, uh, there's there's two professions, there's gem cutter and gem setter. Ah, so sticking okay. things in things and yep. making them pretty. So, we've got our little, little stockpile there for that. 
What we want over here is another stockpile, um, which will be a refuse stockpile. Where's my cursor gone? Refuse stockpile. I'll take up most of this space here, like that. And, oh, and I want another stockpile here, which will be for stone. And again, set the settings because uh, you don't want all the refuse, obviously. What you actually want is to just turn all of those off and just have skulls, bones, shells, teeth, and horns or hooves. Morbid. So, yeah. Very morbid. So we can make crafts. Out I'm of bones. stressed to see there are penguin skulls. Dead penguins have penguin skulls. Penguin man? Yep. Hmm. Again, savage lands, penguin men. Half man, half penguin. Probably. Yeah. Right. Um, and this one here, <laughs> this is going to be for stone, um, because the masons are going to be down here as well. So we want to turn off metal ores, because we don't care about that, and economic yep. stone, because that's useful for other things. But what's other the, stone is fine. What's we'll just, the economic stone thing? It's um, stones that have other uses, like uh, bituminous coal um, can be turned into coke, which you can use to fire furnaces. All right. And lime, limestone and chalk and marble are fluxes, uh, which you use to work iron. Yep. And gypsum uh, you can use to make plaster out of. All right. Um, and obviously these are iron ores and you don't want metal ores, but you don't want those in this stockpile. Um, and I think uh, somewhere in here cine will be cinnabar, I think. And we'll turn that off yep. as well because cinnabar is apparently really heavy, so we don't want to of our dwarves wasting their time lugging cinnabar about the place. That's a stone stockpile. Our now. dwarves actually have a uh, sense of encumbrance, so, you know, so heavy stuff will slightly slow them down, sort of thing. Yes, it will slow them down, and not necessarily <laughs> slightly. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, and so now as well, we want to build a couple more workshops. Um, we need two masons' workshops. One here, out of dacite. On here, out of Dasai as well, why not? And a mechanics workshop, which is T. All the crafting. And mechanics workshops um, make mechanisms, obviously. More like traps. Uh, yes, well, mechanisms are used for, in making traps and in making uh, draw bridges and connecting levers to things and all kinds of clever stuff. Floodgates, all kinds okay. of stuff. Okay, let's. And. Down here, oops, down in the lower area is where other stuff goes. Um, I'll probably be W. Um, I will put Weatherworks right at the top. Put Leatherworks in here, um, like that. And because there's a Leatherworks there, then I will put another stockpile in for. Um, Leather. Obviously enough. I'll make this stockpile down here. Leather goes there. Underneath the mason's workshop is where I'm going to put a stockpile for bars and blocks. Bars? Uh, yes. Specifically blocks in this case, um, because you don't get a huge amount of stone by digging it off the wall. You get some. Obviously there's some lying around in here now. But um, you do need, if you want to use it for construction, which we will, then um, you want to use it more economically than just grabbing a lump of stone off the floor and building stuff out of it. Yeah. So we need to use the mason to turn the stone into stone blocks. And this okay. stockpile is where those stone blocks will go. Sort of work stone. Yeah. And it's, you know, you can make one chunk of wall with either one stone block or one just lump of stone. But chunk of wall? Yeah, like a piece of wall, a tile of wall okay. with one stone block uh, or one lump of stone but one lump of stone creates I think four stone blocks so it's yep. much much more economical to turn the stone into blocks first but we don't want bars of things so we'll forbid that uh, we don't want blocks of metal or anything else so just stone slash clay okay that's that's what goes there and our leather stockpile is probably fine I don't know if we need to do anything no it's just leather all kinds of leather 
huge list of things and we'll build more workshops here uh, directly but we'll let them get on with this for now because we've just been planning and not actually doing anything so they'll all start running around making things and uh, there's actually a wheelbarrow there so what I want to do as well it, for the stone stock pile is um, use W to turn up the number of maximum number of wheelbarrows that can be allocated to the stockpile because obviously if you put your big lump of stone in a wheelbarrow you can move much more quickly with it. it it's down to that sort of level of economics. Yep, and I I uh, queued up a couple of wheelbarrows to be built a little while ago and obviously they have been so and you can see all the gems are being moved into the gem stockpile there and uh, some of the stones being moved into the stone stockpile so that's all. Yep, yep. That's Lots all of star things. Lovely. What I think we'll do now is um, think about uh, sorting out at least some of our defences. So, so time so, for a wall. Um, we will at least need to decide to plan roughly where the boundaries of the fortress is going to be. Um, okay. We don't have enough stuff um, to build huge amounts of walls right now. Oh, and I've just remembered something else that we absolutely need. Before the trade caravans arrive, we will need a trade depot so that they can trade. Yep. So B for build, and I think it's capital D for trade depot. There we are. Trade depots are quite big. Um, I'm going to put it here next to the butcher's shop. Uh, make it out of uh, all pigment. Why not? <laughs> because it's big, it requires more than one piece of stone to build. And you can see it says two needed. I've already selected one. Yep. So you use yep. you can make things out of a variety of different things if you really want to. So we got one of nine. Or one something? of nine. Yeah, that means there's nine of them available, and we've got one allocated to this building. Okay. And we need two more. So you can either keep pressing enter, or you can press shift and enter to select all of the available ones from the current selection, which is Orpiment, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay. So now that's where the trade depot is going to go. Yep. Um, I'm going to resume that. Uh, oh, this, this, they tend to suspend the construction of things quite a lot if there's people moving around. So this mechanics workshop here has been suspended because there was something in the way. So you just press S to de-suspend construction and they'll hopefully get on with it. Is there any indication of this? or is It comes, up, it comes up in the little alert thing at the bottom. I saw it come up. It says at the bottom there that they suspended. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Unless they've suspended it again. No, it's just inactive. So hopefully that will be fine. Um, these masons workshops, I think, are done. Yes, they are good. So what we'll do is we'll add um, construct rock blocks, because that's just what you we were talking about. Yep. And we'll make that a repeating task for a little while. That means I keep doing that they'll just keep on until they've run out of stuff. They'll just keep on doing it. And that maybe they haven't finished building everything down here yet. That's, that's fine, we'll just leave that alone. Um, so what I think we'll do is um, we will set, begin designating so we can decide where this is going to go. Well, we can't have a moat, as I said, because there isn't really uh, anywhere suitable to put a moat. If we dig it out we to the edge, all the water the river, will obviously drain away. Um, can we redirect the river? Or we can dig certainly we can dig trenches from the river and we're going to do that anyway to get some water into our system ah. under the fortress but we just want I think we just want to make a trench rather than a moat specifically okay um, so we just need to decide where to put that and have it far enough away from everything to be useful and that's probably a good enough place what to is go. Uh, blue arrows are they uh, water there uh, yeah that's a, a wet downward slope because it's down, okay. down to that you can see the the sevens there that's a, a murky pool. Okay, and that just says that um, there's a slope down uh, at the edge of the water. Okay, so here looks like an okay place to build a trench. So you go to designate and you choose to channel. And what channel does is it digs out the floor of the current tile and the tile beneath. So it's, it digs out, it removes the floor, and then it's the same as also mining out the tile underneath. So mining out will dig out the bit above the floor, but leave the floor intact. Mm. If I explained that well, I'm not sure I did. <laughs> anyway, so well, we'll see, you'll see the effect of it if we go over to, like, say, uh, here. And it's probably easier if I just if I just let them do it. 
and then you can see. And so if we go down a level, you can see that's what happens when you do a channel from the level above. Ah, okay, yep. Yeah. So this is going to be like that part of the trench around the fortress, and um, so the trench actually goes down to the level below. Yes, when you dig a channel, it goes down to the level below. Yep, yeah, cool. Um, and they haven't quite dug it all out, but that's fine. Um, let's uh, go down here again. We'll say uh, burrow. That's um, a definition of a place where you can tell dwarves to go. It's it's, it's not like a, you don't specifically build anything. It's just like you can designate an area as a specific burrow and then say you, when there's an alert, you can tell all the civilians to go into that burrow. Ah. Hiding hole. Yep. They have suspended yep. this mechanics workshop again. So I shall unsuspend it. But it is, sum it is summer. It's summer. Um, right, so this is our trench. Um, I think we should dig the north south part of it too. Yep. Uh, so let's designate that. H to designate the channel. That's going to go past the edge of there, so that's fine. Yeah, three wide, down to here. Any particular reason three wide? Um, it's just a nice distance. Harder to cross. Uh, yes, and we... Well, if we had it one wide... We want to have ramps on one side of the channel so that things can get out, but we don't want it to be on a side where they can get out on the side of the fortress. So two wide would also do this, but so with three wide we'll remove the ones which are near the fortress so they have to get out on the opposite side, which will be pertinent when we have a drawbridge over it. So they can ah. fall in the channel and they can get out of the channel, but they can't get out of the channel on the side where the fortress is. Yep. And we'll do that by removing these ramps, which we'll do a bit later on. And what we're also going to do is dig our way to this brook at some point. So we can fill it with water? Yes, well we need a cistern. Um, yep. So we will need to do that. A system for a system. Yep. This is the... oh, they keep suspending that. Right, so something else I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate quickly now is hotkeys. So press yep. capital H and that brings you the hotkeys and currently um, F1 is set to zoom to the wagon um, so I want it to zoom here instead um, so if I press F1 to select it press Z to have to zoom here and now it will so what I'm going to do now is set F2 to zoom to this location mm -hmm. and F3 to zoom to our crafting level and you can press N to change the name as well oh, handy. so I can see crafting like that so now um, we can just go, we can be looking at this and I can go oh, crafting stuff, what's going on there and press F3 and go straight to here, which is handy because they keep suspending the construction of this bloody workshop. Workshy fops. Right. Um, so these crafts dwarfs workshops have been built, which is good. We want to make some more crossbow bolts because our hunter is complaining about not having any. We need so to shoot stuff. I add some bolts like that. And because that one's been built, uh, this one up here, although that guy's using it, but once once he's done, we'll remove it. And like so, we'll this here, this mason's workshop right here. We can press X to remove it, and it'll be slated for removal because we have two mason's workshops downstairs now. Um, and we want a carpenter's workshop, and I don't think I put one in here, so let's do that now. So B, W, C, carpenter's workshop, just in this space, out of Rhyolite, for some reason. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, right. So they're busy digging that trench, so that's good. Uh, once they're done with that, um, we'll remove a bunch of ramps because right now again you can see the ramps leading down those are also ramps up from the level below obviously that kind of makes sense so that's true so anything that's in the trench can currently come out onto the side which is where the fortress is and we don't want that so when they're done digging those things out uh, oh <laughs> okay I I have screwed this up you see what I've done You've dug I've a trench. Dug the trench right through the middle of 
Can we repair of these that? Rooms? Um, we can. We're going to have to do a couple of different things. Uh, oh, rebuild the wall. How yeah. how do we rebuild the wall? It's we'll, probably a useful thing to know. We'll, well, yes, we were going to get to building walls anyway, but yeah, it's, 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 we might as well Let, go, let's also go do with, that. How do you recover from? being an idiot and not checking where you're digging your trenches properly. That's probably First of a all, very useful thing. Let's um, remove the designation for the rest of this trench. So you don't dig, dig the rest so of it. So they don't continue to dig it. Yep. Um, let's also um, decide where the trench is actually going to go, which is, should be out here somewhere. Can you dig a trench from underneath then? Um, no, I'm just kind of... This is. I can see where the rooms are down here. This is what I should have done before. So and I can see where these rooms them. are and then go, right, well, this is clear of the rooms. Yeah. So now if we go up, that, and yeah. then, then we go channel here, like that, and that. Are we paused then? Uh, yeah, it, it, it pauses in designate menu anyway. Ah, cool. And I'll also fill this in, but... No, it's a idiot. useful learning thing. Anyway, yes, I should have done that. I've done this uh, several times before as well, dug my way. <laughs> digging a moat and actually dug into the fortress so yep. you can see here um, other people will do it too we've successfully buggered this up so what we need to do Not first all. of all is to repairing is important is to remove the ramps that are um, in the place where you want walls to be so you go D to designate and then uh, remove upstairs and ramps which is Z and then we'll just designate an area where we want to remove the ramps from which is basically this area here yep and then the miners will uh, remove them at some point because they're also yep. digging another trench right now dig 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 so we'll, we'll come back to that uh, but our fortress is obviously now open to anybody who happens to come by and go into the trench which isn't what we want at all but we can hopefully build walls to stop but them we'll doing that out. Um, down yep. here you can see we've got in this stockpile there's a bunch of stone blocks being built yep yep Rocky like blocks. There's dacite and rhyolite. And, uh, the red some, ones and the white ones, yep. Some cinnabar blocks as well. Um, Repairing is probably a useful thing to know, frankly. Yes. I mean, we were going to get to building walls anyway because we're going to build walls around the fortress, but. Uh, yeah. So we're getting to building walls maybe a bit, a bit more quickly than before. <laughs> but, you know, sooner or later something will go wrong. Uh, so we'll do that. And we can maybe uh, uh, leave this as a sort of a trap area. We well, we, we don't really want anywhere where people can just stroll into the fortresses. The thing. Yeah, but we can so uh, uh, dead end this thing and then um, um, fill it with the traps or something. I and mean, I, yes, I mean we're we're gonna employ traps as well, and we can certainly try and herd people into them. But I'd rather just have the fortress itself just totally sealed off because we don't want people walking through our dog training area. No, no. So anyway, back to the surface. Uh, the trade depot has been built, uh, which is good. We can now uh, also task this carpenter's workshop for removal. I think we might have... Uh, yeah, we've cleared the ramps now. Okay. How to build walls. So, B for build, and then it's uh, C, capital C, for wall, slash floor, slash stairs, slash track, and W for wall. And you get the same uh, little deal as you did with the farm plot. You use UMKH to form the shape of the wall that you want to build. We want to fill this hole here. So we um, do a three wide, one high one. Mm -hmm. And we'll make it out of dacite blocks, because we have 20 of them. And we need three, so let's just shift into that. And we want to put another one in that's too wide at the south end. And again, Scroll down until we find some blocks we can make that of, like rhyolite. Do enemies uh, chisel through walls at all? Some enemies are building destroyers, but they don't destroy walls, I don't think. So, ah, so it's pretty safe. And we also need one more uh, three wide wall to block up this hole in the dog pen. Yeah. So okay. the hounds don't escape. So they don't escape. And we will again make that out of dacite blocks. Like that. And with that tutorial on how to build walls <laughs> how to fix things how to fix your stupid mistakes yeah, i useful. think we'll useful. leave that for this episode excellent and next episode we'll um work on building the system we'll build a bridge across this trench that we've dug yep and 
we'll try and get onto forging as well. Okay, cool. So, thank you everybody for watching. Do tune in again for episode 3, and uh, we'll see you next time. Toodaloo. Bye.